What up, my devil? Sensei Tudor, I'm here with another video for you. This week, I've got a fun video um, that I've done a few of in the past, and I'm doing do again just because I haven't in a while. I put out the question there to you guys: What are the problems with Elliott Wave? What are you, what, what are the issues with the theory? Or you know, and unless a lot of responses I got, what are your issues? With, what are my issues with the theory? Kind of thing. Um, and uh, yeah, that's a fun video I like to do every once in a while, um, and not to flame or anything, but to help, to help others, and it's fun. Uh, just, just in case anybody doesn't know who I am, I'm uh, a uh, certified Elliott Wave analyst through the Elliott Wave Institute with a master designation, uh, and I am a teacher, uh, sensei, over at Trade Devils, Trade Devils University, and uh, where we teach a lot of Elliott Wave and um, you know the Trade Devils method, so there's a lot of other things involved in that as well. Um, and... The way I look at myself is not just a teacher, but like a coach, because a lot of this is to me, I look at trading like a sport. So uh, you can sit here and educate yourself all day on the X's and the O's. But if you don't get out there on the field and put it in the action, you don't know anything, right? Like it's a lot different for the guys that are the scouts and the guys that, you know, have to get on the field and play. Um, so, yeah, I like that's that's sort of what I view myself as. And uh, so I, I feel like I am credentialed enough, knowledgeable enough about this theory to teach it. And in fact, Elliott Wave Institute, which is the probably the uh, well, not probably is by far the most um, uh, respected and um, accredited uh, place to learn Elliott Wave. Uh, if you have the certified Elliott Wave analyst design master designation, you in fact are, you know, according to them knowledgeable enough to teach it and to be quite honest with you that that's even having that master designation only only scratches the surface and i teach well beyond what you would learn to need to know that um to achieve that and we i say i and i say we uh here at trade devils with our belt system and then all of the uh, peripheral educational content that we have um so yeah that's i feel like i'm uh i'm qualified to do these videos and i think they're fun and at the end i'm going to talk about what my current thoughts on bitcoin are and throughout the video here sort of at the beginning you're probably going to get the way, what i've walked us through and sort of you'll probably have a decent idea um from the body of the video by the end what my ideas are uh but or at least where i'm going to go with it have an idea so i would watch the whole thing don't just skip to the end but you'll definitely get some juicy juicy uh bitcoin thoughts at the end current bitcoin thoughts um so yeah, uh, let's jump over to Twitter and do the questions. So we're basically going to answer every single question. Actually, before we do that, what I want to say is, you know, because there's going to be a lot of themes with a lot of these, right? I, I haven't even read them all. I've, you know, I've read the ones I've read, I've read through lightly. Um, but uh, there's going to be a lot of themes with these. So I'd like to just sort of get this out of the way at the beginning. Uh, like I said, I like to be a coach. And the way I like to teach this is how to, you should actually like apply this in the markets and teach it. Not just know the X's and the O's. Like how to actually execute a play. Right? If we're talking maybe in American football terms because uh, NFL season's coming up. Um, anyway, so yeah, how to execute these plays in the market. Um, and... The first thing that a lot of people problem that a lot of people have is that they they have too many preconceived notions. They have too many of their own ideas going into something when they don't, you know, when they have no qualification or reason. Uh, <laughs> you know, there's that saying out there, confident for no reason. There's a lot of that. And it's not just and it's not arrogance necessarily. It's just natural. Um, and I know this because I've gone through it. Right. I, I went through it myself. Um and uh, I always try to, you know, I've gone, you know, every I'm always continuing to grow. So I always have more to offer, but I always try to teach to my former self. And I think that I've gone through a lot of the struggles many people have. In fact, I probably have struggled more because, you know, I always like to say you guys big brain, me small brain. I'm just some regular fucking guy. So you got to know how to approach it and i and i'm going to walk you through actually on my basically just the bitcoin thoughts i've been giving to our educational members they get the most of uh they get more thoughts than the uh, our social members but our social members get probably just on the bitcoin side because i make sure to give the bitcoin is what a lot of the social get they don't like have stonk stuff i don't necessarily do as much there but they get a lot of the bitcoin stuff so they get depending you know 
depending on how often I'm updating, they get from all of it. If I'm up, not updating that much to as little as half. Um, so anyway, I will go through the thoughts I've been giving to my educational guys just to like sort of show this approach and that also, hey, I am qualified because <laughs> I can generally call moves in the markets. So um, and then the next thing, not just your approach, but you have to understand that this isn't these aren't laws of nature. This isn't like, you know, uh, the rate that something gains velocity when it falls is like. 10 feet per second squared, right? If I'm remembering back to high school, uh, you know, so it's not like that. These are very reliable tendencies in the market, but these are not laws of nature and you have to be able to accept that and um, embrace the theory for what it is um, and not for its flaws or you'll never be able to practice it successfully. If you think that, oh, it's cool when it works, but it sucks when it doesn't work, it's, just, it's shit. Then you're never you're never going to you're never going to be able to apply it properly because you're not thinking about it right. And uh, what I mean by that is <laughs> it's all about that approach. So one of the strengths of the theories is that when the theory is that when it when it doesn't give you strong, you know, a strong inclination, then, you know, that that's a. That's a good thing. When in doubt, stay out, right? That's something that you're going <laughs> to... Anybody that knows Elliott Wave should tell you, right? Um, if it gives you confusion, it's for good reason. So, But when it tells you, you know, with a high degree of probability that something's going to happen, you capitalize on it. Um, so take those times of confusion as a point of strength of the theory, not necessarily a weakness. Um, and then there's also a quote from Elliott that I won't quote verbatim here because I can't remember it word for word, but uh, basically Elliot said in his book um, that the right look is not evident at all degrees of trend simultaneously. And then he went on to say, if the larger degree is giving you issues, zoom in for a clearer look. And, you know, inversely, if the lower degree is giving you a problem, zoom out for, for a better view until you can find clarity. And if you don't have clarity, you just wait. That's Again, sort of a strength of the theory because the market, there's this is not a crystal ball. I think it's as close as you can come to mapping out moves in the markets well in advance uh, of any trading theory. I honestly do of any analysis method, uh, but it's not a crystal ball. The markets are uncertain. If, it, if this was if this was executed perfectly, this this method and it just made basically game over, you're a billionaire, then I, everybody would do it, right? It, it doesn't. It takes skill, and um, you have to learn everything and then apply your skill on top of that, right? Because going back to our NFL reference, like, there's a big difference between, like, a Blaine Gabbert, who played for the Jaguars. He was awful. First-round pick. One of the best in the world at playing the quarterback position. And, say, Aaron Rodgers. Both those guys probably know all the same stuff on the book about the game. But when you get into the game, you got to apply it just a little bit differently. You just have to learn little things. And another thing I always like to say is you have to know your market. You have to learn all this stuff and then apply sort of market traits. Whereas we teach like, you know, wave two, the high probability areas between the 50 and the 618 and other things. But that's for every market. You need to sort of learn your market and the mode that your market's in because they, they're fickle. They change often. Um, this is going to be a long video. So strap in boys uh, and girls. So that's very important as well. And I don't I don't mean to waste any words here. So these are important things that I'm saying at the beginning here. Um, so there's that. Um, you know, again, it's not always clear. And when it's not clear, use that to your advantage. What is clear? What can you see that's clear? How can you maximize that? Right. Um, or is it best to just not do anything? Um, Okay, so what's what was the other thing I wanted to say before we dive into it? Right look isn't always evident, which is very important. Um, yeah, oh, and I wanted to say also that a lot of these, I'm going to read every single comment, and a lot of these comments uh, I could do literally whole videos, whole series of videos on. And guess what? I actually have. So I'm not going to go super in-depth on any of these. I'm going to do my best to help in the length of this video. Um, but... Uh, if you really want to know in-depth answers to these things, I promise you, there's probably no question on here. I haven't really read them all uh, at all. I breezed over them, but I 
promise you, if you want to hear in-depth answers to all of these, I, I know I've already recorded educational, and this, you know, educational videos do good educational members, uh, although I do a, quite a bit of good content for the uh, social as well, but those just come out in videos, um, you know, random videos that aren't sort of stored in, that's just, you'd have to go through the archives kind of thing. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. Oh, so I did want to show basically that, hey, I am sort of qualified to do this because, again, uh, I do teach and practice the trade devil's method, which we kind of focus on in case you're not sure is Elliott Wave, which is uh, my main thing by far. Um, and depending on how you practice this theory, we, you can use any of these things as your main. And even if you want, get rid of some. And, you know, we basically try to teach you how to do all these things and then you can adapt that to what you've already learned or what you learn elsewhere and make it your own. Right. Uh, but this is, I really practice the trade devil's method with a couple other things that aren't really part of the method that we don't teach. Um, but mainly, I do Elliott Wave. Then we do pitchforks, geometry, for, um, and also algos, right? Um, which is a big part of what I do. All of those are a big part of what I do. Um, as you can see, we have FIPS here. And a lot of, we won't get into the algos part of this because it's an Elliott Wave video, but a lot of people always like to say algos, and they really don't have any idea what they're talking about because they throw out random numbers what they mean is just random fibs that they're fibonacci numbers so i guess they're important i don't know but we have a very specific algo that we follow that um is sort of the prevalent algo in the market and not to say there's not others but ours is the ours is the prevalent algo so um in any event uh let me show you real quick my thoughts that i've been giving to the members on bitcoin the last few weeks um, just to show you that hey I can use this uh, theory and it's and a lot of these you might not even see counts because you don't need to have it there but they're always and if you watch my training videos if you watch these videos you know how I think and you don't necessarily need to see the count there because there's so much more to Elliott Wave also than a count I guarantee you like I said the the root of everything on here is backed by Elliott Wave so I won't say that as I go through charts that don't necessarily have labels on them um, so this was a couple of weeks ago. I just, this was, I've, I've been vacationing a lot lately, back for a few days, gone for a week, back for a few days, gone for four days kind of thing. Uh, so these are a little bit sporadic, but I'm back now and I've been going full blast. So anyway, this is back in the middle of the month and I just put out a note that, hey guys, this is quite a reliable recipe for a, uh, for a pullback of substance. How much and how long should be analyzed by other means? It is not a... Also, not a reliable means of picking when the retrace will happen, i.e., don't pick the top. I don't pick tops. Elliott Wave Theory shows you how to do that, but I will never do that personally. Um, just that it that just that it is on the horizon. It should be noted that we are in the log uh, the log golden pocket. That means log scale Fibonacci retracement. Um, I'm showing arithmetic measurement because I would not because I would not be at all surprised to see the 618 shown be made. Um, yeah, we won't get into when to use log and not to win it, but let's just say in this point, in this point, I thought the arithmetic was most important. When the pullback does happen during some portion of it, you will usually get some swift movement. Should be good for a quick 20% down in a bullish scenario. 20% a bullish scenario. Remember, you got to think about the degree. Context always matters, right? In Elliott Wave, context always matters. Degree of trend always matters. And this recipe is usually seen as the early stages of a prolonged bullish move. There are plenty of bear scenarios out there for you to take in. Yeah, just look at Twitter. Uh, I still favor the bullish side. This actually adds support to that theory for me. I should have said thesis. Uh, one, be wary of the coming shakeout. Two, be aware of how the move looks contextually. Three, usually everyone ends up pretty wrong. But in the long run, you see the direction Bitcoin ends up going. Green cucumber, dilly. We use that as a green candle reference here. Um, <laughs> act as though you are in the 99% that is destined to lose money and just don't. Be prepared. Five. So this was the chart. That's the recipe. At the time, price was like 47.9. So then we had a swift drop from the high there. This was the next day. Oops. Didn't mean to do that, but could have just shown it. Um, Swift drop from the high, just show that likely zigzag setting up potentially. I always like to, depending on the situation when I show these, um, especially when I think that people might be trading based on this information, um, I uh, always show the more conservative of the trade targets. Um, in any event, there's that. 
And then the set's finishing up soon. Question becomes, is this C or a start of the three? Thus far, no reason to expect more than a C at this perspective. So this was a successful trade. I had a two rating on it. I won't get into that. Uh, but this was a big winner. So if you entered and played based on the regular, regular TD method, you had a nice, solid, fat winner. Um, and then I said, by the way, great example of a number two rating trade. And then I go through what those mean. Um, and then I just said here, we look to be 50K bound. This was algo. And again, I've always got a count here. And we'll get into that at the end. But this is using algos. I look, you know, in the confluence points and things like that, that I think we are headed to 50 at that point. Um, then I showed this as a lower in two trade. And this also paid off. This is... William Wallace's godson, Dave. He's a beast. Um, and then here I said, nestling up to the first of the target show when pointing out 50K likely expects some sell side supply to be there. Of course, this can be the top. Not betting on it because I don't do that. Um, and I always like to remind folks. So this trade successful um, or the last trade. Um, and then, then I just start showing that we're getting into the first. And then we finally made that target, right? Um, but I, in that trade personally, this is where I closed it. I'll do that from time to time, and I'll show you that on the chart currently because I just closed a trade. Actually, started recording this video and had to stop it to close the trade because uh, it didn't quite make target. I don't care if it gets there. I'm happy. Over 100% PL, right? Um, anyway, uh, do do do. Uh, then first target down. Uh, smallest algo target T1 missed. This was the next one. Um, Shifting the show expansion pool for another. Mostly I've been focused on algos to show them in here. And again, you know, the algos you do have to show more than the Elliot necessarily. At least I feel that way. Um, I expect a level of knowledge from uh, educational members of t Trade Devils, right? Uh, because we have all this information for you to learn. And if you don't, and I do get accused of being vague sometimes. But my thought is if you don't understand it, then you need to understand. As, mu as much as you can understand it is as as much as you deserve to take from it sort of thing anyway um just because i don't want you, you know if i get too intricate and then somebody fucks themselves up i feel bad i always I, i'm always trying to put you behind the wheel um anyway small algo t1 miss talked about uh expansion pool higher target one qualifies as pretty low two there and then we had that one also paid two is a tradable event by the way and which is what most trades are, twos. I have a little rating system I'm doing lately, zero out of three. Zero to three, twos are, threes are the god trades. You don't get those much. I haven't even shared one yet. Um, but uh, you mostly get twos, some level of two. Um, so now that paid, and boom, we're into the white meat, boys. This is when we hit 50K. Um, and so I called for just conservatively at the time. There was all these points of confluence up here that we were headed to 50. Um, and by the way, I think we're going, I don't think we're, I don't necessarily think the tops and maybe it is. We'll, we'll look at it. Um, actually it's pretty, it's almost, I actually kind of lean that it might be the top of this move potentially, but I'm getting out of order here. Um, let's see. Now this shows that the first little algo flip to the bear side. Uh, if we make target for that one, then we flip another to the, to the dark side. Just talking about the way algos work. Um, didn't show this as a trade because I guess I was did I take this I don't know I don't remember why I took that or not I might not have seen it in time I wish the time was posted here anyway there's that um and then I posted the wrong <laughs> the link in the wrong channel uh, so then now that once we're, we were breaking down, I just basically said not looking for any longs until we reach a certain area. And I did not take any personally. Now we made, so here I say external retrace would seem to be the leader in the clubhouse, likely candidate. Should we get to uh, the external, sh uh, should likely candidate, should we get to the external show, I guess, shown, I meant to say the external retracement shown. Uh, and I said, do take note of the possible presence of the two sideways. Again, there's no LA wave count here, but it's always there. And I would show with the blue there. Um, take note of the presence with the two sideways correctives uh, within the potential motive that this is a very le at the very least very odd, i.e. this works uh, 
against the external retrace thesis. Um, so yeah, but by the way, I didn't put the trade thing there. I was long. Um, and then I show this is happening pretty quickly. Three swings into the algo short entry. However, it happened faster than you might have expected. Uh, and and the three fit a one two three, i.e. part of a impulse better than they would an ABC zigzag. I should say zigzag. Three waves are three waves though, so keep your head on a swivel. And it turned out actually to be three waves. Um, it just put in like a bit of a topping pattern here before I think it shot down if I recall correctly, but trade target made, I was out at the 50. Um, then this was from today, this morning. And it said a little late because I was busy this morning. Uh, but uh, yeah, so I said a little late on the post, but looking good for at least another external 50 retrace. Boom, here. Um, and I took that long as well. This was just showing further zoomed out. Um, oh, this was just, yeah, further zoomed out to show some more points of confluence for the reversal. Um, and then that brings us to now. So as you can see, I, I wanted to show that for a couple of reasons. A, I wanted to show it because Hey, look, I can point out these, <laughs> I'm using Elliott wave theory pretty well here, right? Uh, B, and this is all the time, by the way, this is, this is just, I'm not cherry picking. This is just all the time. I could go over to the futures channel. I could go over to the alt channels. Like this is all the time. Um, this might, maybe this is better than, uh, you know, I don't know if this is more hit. I, this was no misses. So I don't know if I always post five, six hits in a row, but anyway, this is normal. We hit these. Um, and by the way, the educational membership that's like 50 bucks a month, 60 bucks a month. Yeah, they get most of these. You could pay for you could pay for 10 of the educational memberships with this, <laughs> not not to mention two years of the social. Right. So um, anyway, uh, yeah, I wanted to show you that I was qualified Two, I wanted to show you how I sort of coach this. And it's sort of like the thought and the approach, how I put you in the driver's seat when I do these. And, um, yeah, so there's that maybe. So, yeah, that's the that's that and how to approach this theory. And this is going to come up when we do these Twitter questions. So let's get into it. Like I said, long, long video. It's already 22 minutes. Buckle in. Um, so, yeah, I was in a trade, by the way, and I had to stop because I saw this. I was actually in it this morning. Um, so the one I posted this morning, external retrace, I didn't post for them to close but i don't normally do that because i'm not doing trade calls right i'm putting you in the driver's seat i might sit your ass in the chair but then you gotta steer baby so sometimes i'll show that i close and things like that but i don't normally like to talk about that i'm trading these and you know you saw in there i never said that right never said one time that i'm trading these anyway i had to close because i had the sell here i just wanted the external 50 retrace i always like to trade uh, i position myself if i can in situations like this where full target full what i'm fully looking for on a trade is at these conservative targets right but then potentially there's more behind it these are all these are the perfect kind of trades and i might even get back in long here and i'll show you why uh but yeah i had to close that because i was actually like i said in it from this morning and then i saw this i saw it was going to retrace and i wanted to hold through because i thought we were going to get deeper uh, but then after we did this and then i see this impulse what we have here is potential for a completed flat wave and then I'll zoom out and get perspective to that. So something like, I don't know, whether you want to do, you know, however you want to label this. So actually you would probably label it this way. And I'm not going to get there and immense that, right? So I'm going to do three, three, three sideways here of some sort. See, something like that, right? This is a potential. And I don't need to go through and nitpick the count. Oh, shit, I'm supposed to get to the Twitter questions, but I, I wanted to show this before I jumped into that, right? And then we'll get more, we'll zoom out and talk more about Bitcoin after the Twitter questions. But I don't need to nitpick that because that's not the proper way to approach it, right? I can do this and see this as a potential, know that I'm in a trade, know that I'm close to my target, see that I have a potential ending uh, pattern here to the finish, one, two, three, four, five. I don't need to get in here on the one second and count every little bump. I, I see that this looks like an impulse, right? And that this could be something different. I, I see the different possibilities at all times. But look what happened. 
doesn't mean that it's not gonna it's gonna go to, to hell now like i said i might even long again we'll see um maybe before this video ends so yeah you gotta know how to approach this fucking market or any market this theory in the market all right let's get to them we're gonna go through all of them do 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 all right should i say names yeah i'll say names uh all right dave crypto 83 uh don't know him anything other than twitter um he seems to be a really good guy by the way um he really pumps up the community so he's good people uh and he says like you know i love elliot wave it was an extremely powerful tool when applied properly on both the highest and lowest time frames and it works on all asset classes well said sir but in my opinion lots of people hate it or say it won't work because they are not willing to put in the effort or just not able to master it i i guarantee you if you are in trade devils and you put in the work well i can't guarantee because i mean I'm small brain, but if you're smaller brain than me, I can't say. But most people are bigger brain than me, right? Big brain does not always mean big sad. But if smaller brain than me, maybe sad. I don't know. I can't say. But most people, I will guarantee that most people, if they put in the work and come to Trade Devils, they can master it. So not here. I'll actually, is there anything bad over here? Yeah, I'm not gonna bring that over. But um, don't want to dox myself. But he says, like I said. Uh, people not willing to put in the effort or not able or, or just not able to master it they're not able to master it because they don't put in the effort in my opinion and they don't know the resources they don't have the proper resources come to trade devils we're a proper resource um a few people this is uh um, i can never say his name mecca i think of him as in my head mecca takaku yeah he's norwegian um anyway uh a few people he's a he's a member for a while now and somebody that definitely goes over my training materials and uh he's uh he's really good at the theory i like i like what his work a lot and he's a profitable trader by the way uh few people really uh understand uh, few people really understand the theory or just fail to apply it correctly uh, okay yeah uh thus dislike it or doubt its effectiveness to the trained eye it provides a way to read the market map out expectations price behavior and can be highly accurate who wouldn't want an edge yep i'm with you uh uneasy follower not sure who he is um my issues with elliott wave is the expanded bees really i mean how confident can you be when you see the market going for what looks like another continuation wave that is only an expanded b how to deal with that situation definitely have again entire videos devoted to these things but briefly what do we know about an ex quote unquote expanded b wave so let's look here uh at this very situation where we had what was an expanded b wave relative to this not really i mean but it, it did make a new high so i don't know if that's what you know not very specific um but when you see it see how this is three down and this it's clearly three up right just go by the swings right and we can get in there and nick pick it but it's going to be three right promise you all day long so a b c but what we see here is that this is clearly not exhibiting the traits of an impulse you know when you look at and i don't want to get too in depth on these things again like i say i have massive amounts of videos dedicated to this but it has no traits of an impulse it is living in a situation where there is a decent probability for it to be contextually a corrective wave you know it actually doesn't create divergence on this time frame but if i bit well two minutes Ah, I'm degenerate, boys. Uh, but if we come out here, it actually didn't create divergence. But it did give the signs. Let's just put it this way. This is very typical looking C wave. So you got to look at the structure of this expanded wave to see if it looks like it's built like an impulse or built like, built like a corrective. Um, and act accordingly. Enter at the highly probable locations. And I'll talk about why I entered here. And then again, like I said, I held through this. I was hoping for more. I saw this as a possibility. And I'm aware of the market and its traits that when this has been happening of late, it shakes it out and then goes for the dill, right? The dill. 
so I wanted to hold through. I was hoping to get more than this out of it, but you know what? Still good hold. This is knowing your market. But let's just remember, because there's all the little things that you need to know about every individual pattern. Where do expanded wave live? Expanded waves live. I'll get I'll get a little depth for you, just a tiny little bit of depth for you. Uh, they live in flats. I guess I have to draw them out. So I'm only going to draw the subwaves on the B. So they live in flats. So this is an uh, this is A three wave, and then wait a second. I messed that up. Darn it. Sorry. Talking while I'm drawing. So if we're, oh, say flat's coming in this way. That's why I did that. All right, just drawing the subwaves. Or they live in sideways, uh, multiple sideways, right? Uh, double two, double three, triple three. Uh, typically, you're only going to see like a double three. So we'll draw a double three. Again, only drawing the expanded waves, subwaves. I want to redraw that. So, two. These look the exact same. Guess what? They fucking kind of are, right? They kind of are. Actually, the main difference is this wave. Uh, well, of course, that in a flat, this is also a motive wave, and this is another three wave structure in a sideways. But what you see that's different here is that. This is lazy compared to the other waves. And this one is sharper compared to the other waves. So it's a sucker wave. And they're they get you. They make you a sucker. You have this takes this takes experience. But look for things like divergence. Look for things like inadequate retracement with the first wave of the corrective. What's an adequate retracement? I can't get that deep for you right now. We don't have the time. But look for these things, right? So, inadequate retracement, divergences, uh, resolutions of count within here. You know that this is these two waves are the same when you're showing like so. For instance, if this wave is a clear impulse and then this wave is one to one or is close to let's say not one six one eight or greater, and clearly five sub waves with divergence on the high, you might want to be nervous. But what, but what, how did you put yourself in a situation that did you trade into here and buy the long here? Then you should, and the way trading works is that you take a lot of small winners or close to break evens even, and maybe even some small losers and then not as many, but big winners, right? So it's like small winner, small winner, break even, small winner, small loser, break even, big winner, right? So that's how it works. So if you see this and maybe you were trading for a three here, and you see the five waves completed, then you'd be out. But if you're maybe you were trying to resume this trend, then you got to go back to say, wasn't an adequate retracement? Should you have been in there? And if if you don't know what that means, then you need to know the theory better. So it's, it's it, it, and it just takes experience and practice and education. So I hope that helps that one. I, that, really good question, because that's tough to that is a tough thing to spot. And um, I'm pretty good at it. And I think I've got some pretty good material on it. And I'm sure I'll make more good material on it in the future. So Come on over. Um, okay, next one. Swing trades. I think he just followed me when I made this post. He probably came from, I can see, uh, my good buddy Sensei Hove, former colleague here, uh, retweeted this for me so I could get some more responses, and I uh, think he came through there. Um, Elliott Waves combined with RSI is possibly the best way to find entry points and reversals and trends. I guess that was a bonus or uh, a plus. And then cons has to be having to have three, four charts for everything you're watching because of the different accounts. Um, you don't have to, like I, you know, like I said, I, a lot of times I don't have the count just on the chart, but I always have a count. What do I see here? I see five waves, three waves, five waves, zigzag, right? Or one, two, one, two. Like I have, all these potential counts in my head, I see them. The only reason I ever put the fucking labels on the chart is for you. It's the only reason, I, well, not ever, but, you know, and I will say the things that I trade the most tightly, uh, I will usually have multiple charts on. You know, Bitcoin, I keep four. 
a lot of things, you know, like the ES, you know, which I trade more, more of the SPY, but I trade on the SES via options. But I do, uh, I keep one chart of that, maybe two sometimes. But yeah, it's that's all. That's also experience. Like when you don't need to see the count to remember it, um, you can do less of that. But you know, maybe that that is. I would say that's a genuine con for some that you might want to have more than one chart. Um, all right, moving on. Issues would be having the experience to use the tool properly. I trust no count 100%. Of course, those with issues, I think do. Yeah, he makes a really good point here. And I have, again, this addressed this in many videos, even on the public YouTubes, I believe, uh, that uh, he trusts no count 100%. Those with issues do. And I see that all the time. You see that so much bravado and confidence on uh, Twitter, for, per se. And I think a lot of people that are potentially good practitioners do that because I think that's what you're supposed to do in social media. I don't really know. That's, that's not really my thing. Uh, but but uh, he when once as you get better, you see all the potentials, right? And I, early on, this was this was me too. Hey, look, the only count that I can see here is this, so it has to be that. Nope. Nope, nope. One of the things that you have to know in the market is that you're not necessary. And if you don't see a count that makes sense, maybe you're just not good enough to identify that count. I always think that way, right? So if it's total fucking shit chop and I can't count it, I don't think, oh, this is fucking Ellie Wave. Oh, this fucking market. I think I'm just not good enough to count this. And I'll say it proudly. So good, good one, Baba Fats. I like that a lot. Um, that came through Hove as well. Um, okay, I've, I've Orbain. One word, extensions. Oh, baby. Yeah, I've got multiple videos devoted just to this, how to trade them, how to identify them. Uh, uh, that plus corrective structures trip me up. I tend to use it as a guide now if I can catch obvious fives and threes. Otherwise, I'll just go by horizontal SR. Okay, dude, and that's the strength of this theory. So if you just understand five and fives and threes, very basic level, I can give you a 10-minute lesson, then you can apply this to whatever else you already use well. You really can. So good on you, sir. Uh, extensions, they, you know, they can be difficult. So... let's break into that i see that's see he wasn't that specific right so again i've got multiple videos devoted entirely to this so what little tiny aspect do i want to address here um obviously you know the fibonacci relationships right that you're looking for so i won't go that here here's one for you big tips so simple this this fucking theory is so simple base trend channel used to project the C of a zigzag. If this is going through it and expanding in volume, it's likely to be extended. I'll give you that one. Um, now, if you are trading, also, I'll tell you this, if you're trading for, let's say, a wave three, because you're you're a god and you like wave three trades on the one hour and then you're in here but then you want to go down to the one minute two minute and start trying to subwave count this oh should i get out should i get out not a good idea focus on the degree of your trade like yeah sure you want to look check a degree lower go ahead absolutely but don't overanalyze it and do know that within extensions you know you count count swings uh, you know, how many swings in a motive? Five. How many for an extension? Add three. Or I'm sorry, add uh, four. How many How many in a corrective? Three. How many for an extension? Add four. Extends again, add four. You know, if you're going to count swings. Uh, very detailed information on how to do that in multiple videos all over the place. So, yeah, count swings um, and focus on your degree of trade and that little channeling trick. That, that might help. I think that should be a big one. Uh, to help with extensions for you. Um, Elliot Wave will always have issues to those who don't understand it. Yep. Chad, thank you. Uh, Tony the Bull Spilatoro. Um, here's a free book if you would like to learn more. Yeah, I think he might be getting like, this dude might be getting kickbacks from EWI to like give their free book. Yeah, I got 
I've got I've got the free book. When you when you have the CWEA, yeah, they uh, you have that book for life free digitally. But of course, I've got the hard copy as well. Uh, and again, CWEA dash M certified Elliott Wave analyst dash master was the only one in crypto before my student who posted right below that Tony Talent, who is now my colleague, also got that he's a G probably better at this theory than me. But he learned from me. And that's the goal of a teacher. Right. Um, so, yeah. I know of two CWEA dash M's in crypto, and we're both at Trade Devils. Um, but thanks for the thanks for the book, and I told him I'll check it out. Thanks. Um, and then Tony trolled me, and then Jake Hubs, former student, um, who learned a lot of what I've got. He's been gone for a while, so he's missed out on a lot of cool new educational stuff. But I know this man knows the theory, um, and he's got a good question here. And this is one that I have definitely addressed in depth in, in videos, and won't get too too much into here but i kind of already addressed it at the beginning so we'll go here wave ones that look corrective in nature are one of the biggest annoyances in my book see he's not calling it a weakness of the theory um because this man knows the theory uh you could argue both the counts are wrong and unconfirmed he shows two counts and this is like the current bitcoin uh, but i do find wave ones to be a bit ambiguous sometimes fuck yeah buddy wave ones suck now what are we doing what are we trading the this is market psychology Right. So we're always you get, that's that's probably an aspect that people don't think about too much. Um, and also, you can get a little more into the volume analysis with that. But remember the ah, I should have I did read this before I came on. I should have brought up a page of the book. I'm not going to go digging through it now. But basically. An idealized impulse structure looks something like this. Right. Wave ones that happen after, you know. Extended bull mark, bear markets. They're marked by disbelief. No one, no one thinks that it's real, right? No one, no one believes in this, and the price on the on 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 the chart reflects that. There's a lot of disagreement in price, and that's what corrections are as well, right? So it is, it by nature a more corrective of the motive structure, especially after a prolonged bear especially after and the book says this like early in the book it'll show you um market disbelief and then of course the wave two is all the bears coming out i fucking told you we're going to zero they'll be out on twitter soon by the way we're getting there uh if they haven't already started coming out i don't really look um but yeah and then uh the beginning of wave three again wave one of three disbelief and then blah 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 yada 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 so remember that think about the market sentiment think about the contextual place of where you are so contextually are we are we after a large move in the opposite direction you know a, a prolonged bear market prolonged bear move relative to the wave one okay and does it contextually the count how does the count fit and is this if it were correct if let's say it's super confusing which this one off the bitcoin count off the low was this do 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 on this 15 minute charts can be hard to find but way back here this is a bitch of a count for an electrician if you watch my videos though my ideas have not changed um because you have to know your market as well again uh and like i said elliot like elliot said and and he even says in a, in a further comment that fibs channeling volume all suggesting impulse but the proposed one looks more like a three so he's using the whole theory, which many people don't, to say that it is suggesting that it's a one rather than a three wave structure, um, especially after the fact when the next move came in. Um, and then, of course, you look at what happens after. Looks very corrective. Um, all of the thrusting moves in this were smaller than these. Right. Um, anyway. Uh, so, yeah, you got to think about that, too. While you while you're uncertain, if you bought this. You know, it depends. All depends on how you act, your action in the market as well, right? So, again, think about contextually where you are. Think about the sentiment. Um, let's get back up to our little trading view. Laggy today. Oh boy. Think about your sentiment. Um, let's see what else. Think if it is a three-wave move. If you if it is potentially three wave, 
isn't an adequate retracement. I, you're going to hear me say that all the time. You got to think about that. If not, then you know, worst case scenario, you buy the retrace, then it's going to get multiple, right? Because we do that in trade devils all the time. I'll trade wise all the time. So just think about the market sentiment. Think about the wave structures. Think about con the context. Um, but yeah, it's they, 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 those are tricky part of the market. I will not disagree with you, sir. Um, hopefully that helped. Again, I definitely recently did an uh, educational video that covers this decently. So more information that you haven't seen. He, he's a former member, but he learned a lot. He doesn't need to come back unless he really wants to. Um, okay. James Juarez. I get lost in the weeds because so much to it. Yeah, there's a lot to it, but it's all simple. And then you have to apply it simply. I always like to say I have a philosophy, kiss, that I like to push. For me, keep it simple, stupid. For you, keep it super simple. And this theory is very simple. There's a lot to it. So you can get all twisted up, especially the fractal nature of things, but that's the market. And if you're going to look at the fractal nature of the market, you're going to have to deal with that. Um, that was, and I'd say that's, you know, that is not necessarily an issue with the theory because it is, that is, that is an issue I would say with the market. Um, but if you just keep it simple, if you start finding yourself getting twisted up, just fucking sit back, take a deep breath and then zoom out and you might find something, you might, you might find, you might find something interesting, right? So one piece of advice for that um god i got a lot of comments here uh one guy solo mano common saying get five la titians the same to analyze a chart and you'll get five different wave counts it's an awesome tool but it has flaws but of course he doesn't say it yeah, markets don't always go up in five waves are down in three uh no they don't go up in five and three but they do go up um in a variation of that right they're fractal so there are extensions to those so that's just the basic and that that's what we call in the book the basic form and again like i said these aren't laws of nature are there cases out there where i've seen patterns that just don't adhere to elliott wave i think once or twice maybe not really i just it, i just wasn't good enough to identify it in those one or two times um but yeah the market really does adhere to this quite well but again, not laws of nature, fractal nature of things. Um, you have to know the theory. You really have to know the theory. And, you know, get five LA Titians in the same room and they all, won't always have the same count. I fucking promise you, you put me I, I, so far just in this three LA Titians, me, Mecca and Jake in a room and we'll come to a, a very similar count, a very similar count. Of course, they learn from me. And Tony, Tony's in this thread too. Definitely will all come to and he also learned from me. So maybe this is not a great example, but look, man, I'm in my box. Uh, we'll all come to a very similar account, and I guarantee you by the end of it, we'll all come into agreement of what we think is most probable or what we think is, you know, if it's 50-50 or something like that, I bet we could all come to agreement. Why? Because we all know the entire theory, because we know all of it, and we know how to apply it correctly. Um, so you put five LA Titians in the room, you probably have five people who don't know fucking Elliott Wave. If you took five people of a random, uh, if you filled a football stadium up with people that said they knew Elliott Wave and you selected five random people into rooms and they probably wouldn't get the same count. But I bet you 99% of those people don't know the theory at a level that I would consider adequate. That's just, just my two cents. Um, Phil, by simply accepting there could be a bull and bear count, you mentally stabilize the volatility. Often you get the wrong count. Sometimes you call the tops and don't dump. But when you catch a falling knife with the glove of confluence and skill, not luck. Well said, brother. Load up and send it, he says, with a rocket. Um, well said. And this goes back to a comment another guy made. That basically, like, if you just <laughs> aren't confident for no reason, if you just realize even if you can't see the other side of the coin that it's there, it does help. Uh, Bubba Fats, again, uh, he just says... Just being on identical five wave fives and threes is game changer for any trader. Agreed, sir. Um, investing angels says Elliot Wave is a power tool, but it has limitations. Combined with TA candles and results is are way better. He doesn't say anything about in limitations, and then he posts his chart. 
Um, then he says he called 29K in March. I did it in February. <laughs> uh, anyway, and I didn't call a top, and I knew the top wasn't in yet, by the way. Video evidence. Um, but this isn't what this is about. Sorry, I have an ego. Um, do, 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 do. And uh, let's see, there was, and then I had made a comment, got a couple more comments off of it, but this is almost done. And then we'll get to Bitcoin. Long ass video. Uh, how do I read comments to my comment? Okay, good. I suck it at this. Okay, this is a good one. Wave failures and uncountable fuckery. They are simply annoying, but honestly, it doesn't matter since fibs are my number one. See, I don't even know what you mean by fibs, but uh, so many people say that. Um, <clears throat> I guess the wave failures. See, that's not something that's in the vernacular of myself. Um, I guess he would be meaning more similar to the expanded B waves of the previous uh, commenter. So I'll not expand on that. Um, and uncountable fuckery. Yeah, I mean, it sucks. But if you approach it with it, you're, you just suck and you're not good enough. And that, well, that's the way I do it, right? So, and I, like I say, I try to coach and I think of this like a sport. And that's sort of how I was always coached. It's like you're just not, you're not. Even if you're never perfect, you're never going to be perfect. So even if you fucking win the game, you fucked up. That's that's me. Even if I win the trade, I fucked up. Um, so I don't mean to sound harsh, but if you just accept that you suck <laughs> and that you didn't identify it, you can retroactively go back, look at that, and practice, practice, practice. And I guarantee you, uncountable fuckery to you now and you with... Two months even more of hard studying is totally fucking different thing. Attack un attack uncountable fuckery that isn't on the hard right edge that you're not trying to trade. And, and, and from a educational standpoint, and you will improve at it. And, and then and then it's still gonna exist. And I'm always I'm still improving. I will always improve. Um and you can too. Uh, over the wave says maybe sometimes too many possible counts, but I guess you need to know at what point you can knock one out. I mean, that's the market, man, right? And what, what's possible? See, people always ask me fucking possible. They'll hit me with charts. Possible? Sorry. I've had this juicy Corona sitting in front of me this whole video. I haven't sipped it. I needed it. Um, possible? And that shit, that burns me up. It shouldn't. But that question fucking burns me up. Who gives, who cares what's possible? There's anything is possible in the market at all times. We care about what is probable. Don't focus on the po and this is serious. This is a serious response to this question. Do not focus on the possible. Focus on the probable. Learn the theory better to know the to know the probable. And what of the probable scenarios is the most probable? Uh, but then he says, but outside of that, I 100% think this is the best system if you master it. It's not easy, but if you makes you ahead of everyone else in the market, I mean, I think. You know, I only do what I do, right? I'm not a master of everything. But I think that there's so many different things in the market that people can master. Elliott Wave certainly has its specific advantages that no other theory can even come close to as far as projecting future outcomes in the market. Uh, but just trading the charts at a trading degree, I think there's all kinds of things that work great, right? And if you just work hard and master them, you're going to master them. It's time in the market matters, man. Um, you know. If I, if I swim my whole life in a pool and race and race and race, but I never take any formal coaching, maybe, maybe, just maybe, I'll be better than Michael Phelps, but I won't have his technique, right? So I won't, he, you know, he might have been trained by the Elliott Wave Master and I'm just swimming around the pool and I got my own fucking, I came up with my own thing. I think that his way is way better because he learned from the best, um, but time in the pool matters. So spend some time in the pool. Um, it also allows you to not buy levels blindly, but you have to have an idea what you expect price to do. It always allows you to build a plan. Yeah, it does. It really does. That's that's another great thing. Is it not only it it gives you a lot of contextual evidence that other thing other plans might not, other trading methods may not, other anal analysis methods may not. Right? It gives you the ability to know I'm in this trade, but this this and this are possible after and that may make me do different things with the, my current position like the position that I, that I just sold so this is a good transition right into the chart uh and i already talked about the five minute here so i won't get too into this pattern again but why did i sell here 
Why did I sell here? Because I know as I showed you guys going through the discord. So you already have an idea that I knew think a retrace is coming at some point, but I think there's a decent chance it could keep going. I'm not calling a top yet. Even I, you know, there is, let's get out to the 30. There is this whole thing. That's a thing, right? So that's important, right? So we're getting external to that trend line, which is quite important, uh, which contains the move to the upside uh, since this low, or even since this, well, not necessarily that low, but since this low, right? <laughs> so this cannot be disregarded. Not to say that we won't break through and go. Our friend the ES likes to do that lately. Um, but as long as you know that, you can take advantage of it, right? Um, as we did, um, but I didn't show you guys that. <laughs> uh educational members did um so yeah we are below here this could easily be a zigzag however this is a little bit smaller than this it's definitely the characteristic of this is not what you would expect in a c and just your standard c and it's a little bit lower in magnitude right it's not quite the one-to-one -one, uh which doesn't mean it can't be the c but so we either have a finish zigzag, right? And this is one of the reasons why I took the trade. We either have a finish zigzag, but we potentially could have a one, two, one, two in play. So, and that idea doesn't even break until technically you get through here, but the slope of this, that's not even gonna come into play. We get through this 50 and one to one ratio here back into this trend line with, uh, I don't know, any significant close for any significant amount of time, then I will flip to thinking we're going back higher. But I think for right now, the leader in the clubhouse, to a certain extent, probably a decent extent, is that this the retrace is potentially coming, right? So that's where I'm at is that I think that potentially the retrace is coming. Um, there are more signposts pointing to that we are going to do that. Uh, again, we get above this trend line, uh, break through this area right here with any significant um, magnitude, volume, or time. Uh, time being the key thing if we hold above it, uh, then I will start to look for uh, bullish trades with, uh, you know, up here in mind. Um, Again, we have the larger 618 of the entire retrace. I'll zoom out and show that, that we haven't met yet. Um, that was the sort of the biggest target on the chart that I was showing the guys, e even though I said 50K bound. Again, I like to be conservative. Um, and we went right up to 50K, 500. Uh, I've actually been... Eh, never mind. Won't talk too much about myself. I don't like to do that. Um, anyway... But because I saw those possibilities, and look at that confluence point, um, that's why I sold here, right? I sold, let's see, I actually have the, hold on, actually, because when I don't, I never do this, but just for the purpose of this video, I'm showing receipts that I do know what I'm doing. I bought this morning at this level, and I sold at this level, so 47.6. Did I get around at the top? I'm sure not. 40, and this is, fin, by the way, I'm trading on Finmax, but I charted over here on uh, Coinbase. I, I just do that. I don't chart on Finmax. Fuck that. Personally, I, I literally chart here, trade there. Uh, and I use these levels when I place them. Although, some, no, that's not true. I'll sometimes look at the chart there to, to use levels. But um, so 47.6, I got out. It got up to 47.676. I got close to the top. Um, but yeah. So there's that. Um, so those are my thoughts on Bitcoin. Uh, could it now what I'm looking for right now? Again, if you see this is an important 618, right? And we don't have this. So we currently have the last algo took profits right at the low. This is why this was such a good long this morning, because we had this confluence factor, right? So latin you know all the other confluence factors as well the base chin channel etc etc um so this was a great long and one of the reasons was the confluence but this algo made target so he's not in the market to the short side right now he will be at this 50. so we haven't even seen the sell side come in from there this will be you're going to see some sell side volume at that point um 
unless unless for some reason it's turned itself off, which I don't think is going to happen. Uh, but you know, if this makes a perfect B and a perfect C, I, I I won't be able to stop myself. And I'm awake. I'll probably go to sleep and not see it. But if I'm awake, uh, I'm going to take that trade just because that's the kind of trader that I am. Um, and anybody that's a member knows what I mean. If you want to know what I mean, if you want to see any expansion on any of these topics that I talked about tonight, come on over to Trade Devils um, or just stick around for the once in a blue moon public videos I do. I do enjoy doing them. I like to, you know, if you like it, let me know. Like it. Give me feedback. Uh, this is fucking long video, but. I had fun doing it. So for those of you that stayed to the end, I've done this in a couple other longer videos. Anybody that stayed to the end, shoot me a comment. Let me know. All right, boys. Uh, hope this helped. Toot out.